This is the latest addition to our classic fleet here at SNG Barrett Group. Uh, it's a 1982 XJS 5.3 V12. It's 40 years old, that's the same age as the company. It's wearing very well, uh, it's been looked after, uh, and it has only done 50,000 miles from new. It's done a lot of standing, and having a car standing doesn't do it a lot of good, so we're going to have a good look at it and see what it needs. Uh, there are a lot of parts on this car, although not worn out, uh, things like rubber components, they will just degrade over time and we need to replace them. Over the next few weeks we're going to make improvements to this vehicle and when we're happy with it, we're going to give it away at the NEC in November at the Classic Motor Show. Today I'm going to look at the brake lines, particularly the brake hoses. These ones are original so they're 40 years old and it's time for them to be replaced. And at the same time we'll look at the condition of the calipers and the discs. So I'm just going to take the wheel off uh, and we'll just have a look at the condition of uh, the disc and the calipers before we start dismantling. The car may be low mileage, but time hasn't been kind. Uh, the, the caliper is seized on one side, the discs are starting to, uh, to wear thin and they're scored, so we're going to change the whole thing. To save losing too much fluid onto the floor, I'm going to seal the reservoir just with a little bit of uh, cellophane. Just trap it under the lid and screw it down. The top of the brake hose is hidden way down there, so I've got to do a little bit of dismantling to get to it. So I'm going to remove the air filter box to give me access. I'm also going to pop off the, uh, the drain for the, the heater chamber. Right now I can see where I'm going. Drop a bit of light in. There we are. That was tighter than my wallet. They've seen better days. Right, that should be free to tap out now. go. So I'll just tap the dust cap off the, off the hub. Lose the split pin. That's the outer bearing coming out. That's the whole thing off. If you look at that disc, the two thirds of the disc is achieving something, a good third isn't. We're sticking this, or I'm, I'm going to stick this in a vise. We're not going to reuse the disc, so it doesn't matter. It won't, uh, it won't hurt the, uh, the central hub. You wouldn't do this with a new disc. Now the fun begins because we're putting shiny bits back on not taking nasty bits off. So I'm going to bolt the, uh, the disc onto the hub. I've made sure that the two mating faces are scrupulously clean um, because we don't, we don't want any distortion between those two parts. New bolts and washers, of course. Okay, so next step is refit the hub. So I've greased the, uh, the inner bearing, I'll just put a little bit of extra grease round in there and re-grease the outer bearing. Now we can offer the whole thing back on. Special washer, knock it up tight, back one flat. New split pin. Right, it's a nice big piece ready to go back on. They're a bit of a fiddle because there's a little, little tiny shim that goes behind the caliper to get it straight. Well, the next step is to replace the brake pads. 
these ones they're EBC green stuff pads they give a, a, a little more uh, a braking uh, power than, than standard pads um, without needing to be warmed up like the uh, like racing pads so they're a good compromise well I'm just uh, just fitting the anti rattle springs now and the uh, the securing pins once that's done the brake pads are uh, secure little retaining pin and that's basically the uh, the caliper reinstalled the next step is to uh, replace the hose which is where we started down below complete so we'll have to drop it down and I'll go back in the engine bay. So it's back to working by feel unless unless you have somebody to help you. But it, if you've got long enough arms it's okay. That's the lock nut on. Now the air filter goes back. Everything's bolted up. Uh, the the system is now complete uh, so I'm going to bleed it through. Now because I'm on my own I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use this which is a vacuum pump so I can pull the fluid from this end rather than have to pump the pedal. Makes things a lot, uh, a lot easier if you're on your own. Top, so wheel back on, job done. Okay, so the car is now one step closer to perfection. We've replaced the uh, brake hose, we've replaced the caliper and we've replaced the disc. On the right hand side we've now got to do it all again on the left hand side. Um, when we've done that we'll move on to something else. Um, so uh, if you want to uh, uh, catch up with us again we'll see what else we're going to be fitting to this car before we give it away.